What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're at it, smash that like button for me. I really would appreciate it. Also, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. Be careful down in the comment section of the videos. Be careful on Instagram through DMs. A lot of spam, a lot of scammers. I will never try and contact you by WhatsApp or Telegram. I also don't just randomly send you DMs through Instagram. So please be careful. Don't get yourself scammed, guys. If you want up to 12 free stocks, Weeble is going to give you up to 12 free stocks. When you open a new Weeble brokerage account, put any amount of money in that brokerage account, they're gonna give you up to 12 free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. Those 12 free stocks will be worth up to $30,600. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Click on that Weeble link. Open up your new brokerage account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. We can look at what's happening in our economy, our financial markets, with interest rates, with inflation, as an opportunity. Or we can look at it as a curse. I choose to look at it as an opportunity to build wealth. Today I'm gonna to give you my basic things you need to do in order to put yourself in a position to build wealth. Number one, you need to earn. Now, a lot of times I will get contacted by subscribers from the YouTube channel and they'll say, hey, Richard, I'm out of work. Um, I don't have any income coming in, but I do have a desire to build wealth. What should I do? And I tell those folks, your number one tool to build wealth is income. You have to go out and create a primary income. That can be working for someone else, that can be starting your own business, but you gotta earn and create income. There's no way around that. There is no magical way to build wealth without having income. Income is the number one tool, so you gotta create income. I also get questions from people who say, hey, I have an income, I got a primary income coming in, it's just not enough. And then I tell those folks, you gotta increase your income. If your current primary income is not enough for you to make ends meet and be able to invest to build wealth, you have to increase your income. That can be through a second job, that can be through a side hustle, that can be through you taking inventory of the things that you have in your home, in your garage, that may have some value that you can just sell. That may come down to you actually selling things that you currently use. You may have a vehicle that um, has some value associated with it. You may have to sell that vehicle in order to increase your income or give yourself the ability to be able to pay off some debt so that the income you were using to pay on the debt, you can now take that income and invest. You gotta sacrifice something, guys. We're gonna have to sacrifice something in the short term to get everything we want financially in the long term. So number one step, earn. Number two, keep. That's a big one for us guys. That's one that a lot of us have a lot of trouble with, keeping the money that we earn. Keeping simply means you gotta keep yourself out of debt, guys. You gotta keep yourself out of consumer debt. And you also gotta stop spending the money that you earn on things that are making someone else wealthy. Those are our two biggest 
Achilles heels when it comes to the money that we make. We either spend it on things that we don't need to make someone else wealthy, or we take that money and we don't put it in things that actually multiply it. Perhaps we take the money and we just sit it in our savings account. And I know for a lot of you guys, that's where you're most comfortable, keeping that money in that savings account. That's your safety blanket. And I get it. The problem with that is it's not going to multiply. So it's really not creating wealth for you. See, wealth means that your assets generate enough income to take care of you. That's wealth. You having $100,000, $150,000 in your savings account is not wealth because that $150,000 is not going to take care of you because it's not going to create enough income in your savings account to create financial freedom for yourself. It's just not. And then the other one where, we, where we're in consumer debt because we're buying things to make other people wealthy that a lot of times we don't need, you got to cut that out, man. You got to cut that out, consumer debt. That's how you keep money, guys. And another way to help yourself keep money that you earn is through developing a personal budget. Sit down, write out exactly how much income you got coming in and where that income is going. What are your expenses? Sometimes we get our wants and our needs confused. And we have to be crystal clear what a want is and what a need is. See, food is a need. See, I can go to the grocery store and buy my food, bring it home and cook it. Or I can go out to some restaurant and consume food. Now, if I go to that restaurant to consume food, more times than not, it's going to be more expensive than me going to the grocery store and buying my food and bringing it home and cooking it at home. So, yeah, I get it. We all have to eat. But the way we go about gathering our food to eat is where we have to watch ourselves. One is a want, one is a need. So put that budget together. It will help you stay on track. It will help you manage your money. The third thing that I want you to think about, and the most important thing, in my opinion, to get to financial freedom, is investing. I want to put my money in things that have a proven track record historically of multiplying money. I don't want to be the expert because that's going to require too much from me that I'm not ready for. Even a guy like me that's been invested in the stock market for over 20 something years, I still don't know enough about the stock market or about companies to be able to pick winners and losers consistently over time. I just don't know enough. So what do I do? I look for passive investments. I don't want active investments because that's gonna require me to be the expert. For me, it's ETFs and index funds that track the S&P 500 index. Because I don't have to be the expert. I can go to a company like Vanguard, purchase their S&P 500 ETF, and it's gonna track the S&P 500 index. And I don't have to do anything else. I got the top 500 companies in America in that fund, every industry, every sector. I'm in the broader stock market with that S&P 500 ETF investment. If I do wanna do some individual stocks, I'm only gonna do about 20% of the money that I invest in individual stocks. And I'm only gonna do and buy companies that have a proven track record of success, performance. But 80% of my money is gonna be in ETFs, passive investments that I have to do nothing other than just set it up on automatic invest every single month, dollar cost average into that investment and wait. I've done that guys for over 22 years. It works. I built my wealth that way. One or two investments, guys, not 30. One or two investments. 
So those are your three basic financial building blocks to financial freedom. The key is, are you going to take yourself off the sideline, put yourself in the financial game, and make some plays? That's the key. See, 80% of us spend way too much time trying to gather knowledge. While only 20% of us actually get off the sideline, put ourselves in the game, the financial game, and make plays. Make plays. And that's simply what? Investing consistently over time, right? Through dollar cost averaging. If you do those simple three financial building blocks and you take action, there's no stopping you. You will build wealth. And the reason I know you will is because that's what I did. That simple. But you have to make a commitment. You have to discipline yourself. You have to be consistent and you have to be patient. Because see, building wealth the way I do it, it don't happen overnight. It takes some time. It might take five years, it might take 10 years, it might take 15 years, it might take 20 years. And a lot of people ask me, well, if I wanna do it in five years, how can I do it in five years? Put more money in. That's how you do it in five years. If I wanna do it in three years, how do I get there in three years? Put more money in. That means you just gotta earn more and put more in. That's how the stock market works. That's how really any asset works, guys. Whether it be stock market through paper assets, whether it be real estate, whether it be through a business. In most cases, if you wanna get somewhere faster from a financial standpoint, you put more money in. But it gotta be in the right investments. So you don't have to wait 20 years. Just put more money in. That's all. For me, I was okay waiting 20 years. I didn't want to stress myself out. I wanted to enjoy my life. I wanted to work hard, work smart, earn, keep, and invest. And I gave myself 20 years to do that. So when I was 30 years old, I, I, I started this pathway, this financial pathway. And by the time I was 50, I was done. 20 years, I was done. Now I get to do whatever I want to do because I control 100% of my what? Financial destiny and I control 100% of my time. But the only way that I was able to do that is because I did what? Those three financial building blocks. Earn, keep, invest. Don't make it more complicated than that, guys. I don't know why, for whatever reason, we, we, we wanna make things so complicated. It's not complicated. Earn, keep, invest. That's it. What's the problem is, is people don't have enough discipline. They don't have enough consistency and they don't have enough patience. See, those are financial behaviors that people don't do well with. Why? Because we live in a society that says we want it today. I want it right now. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait three years. I don't want to wait five years. I want it right now. And that's why a lot of people get scammed on these social media platforms. Because sometimes people are looking for shortcuts, right? I, I, don't, I don't want to do no work. I don't want to uh, 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 take 10 years out of my life to put money in something that I'm not going to see an immediate return on. I don't want to do that. So then when some grifter comes along or some con artist comes along or some scammer comes along and says, hey, look at me. I'm living this great lifestyle. I'm on this private jet. I got this Lambo, I got this Ferrari, I can just send me $5,000 and I'm going to show you how to do this in 30 days. We fall in that trap a lot of times. Or when these real estate gurus, hey, guess what? I'm going to go out and find the property for you. I'm going to rehab it for you. I'm going to put a tenant in it for you. And I'm going to do all of that in 90 days and you're going to have positive cash flow. You're not going to have to do anything. It's a 100% passive investment. All you gotta do is send me 7,500 bucks. 
Send me 10,000 bucks. Send me 50,000 bucks. And before you know it, you've been had. Why? Because we're looking for shortcuts. We want to put our financial freedom journey on someone else's back. We don't want to put it on our back. Guys, it don't work that way. It's a reason 100 million adults in the United States have no money in retirement savings. It's a reason for that. Our whole country is infected by this lack of discipline, lack of consistency, and lack of patience. Our whole country is infected. The question is, what are you going to do about your situation? I've given you the building blocks. I'm not going to hold your hand and walk you down the yellow brick road to go see the financial wizard of Oz. I'm not going to do that. That's on you. But you can do it. You can do it. Drop me some comments down in the comment box and let me know what you think about those three financial building blocks. And are you going to try it? Love to hear your feedback down in the comment section. If you want them 12 free stocks from Weevil, guys, you got to click on the link. You got to take yourself off the sideline, put yourself in the game, and start making some plays. And it starts with a brokerage app where you can be able to make your investments in paper assets. Click on that link. Get started today. Sign up today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing. Share the video. Smash the like button. Thoughts become things. You can see it in your mind. You can hold it in your hands. You guys keep chasing your greatness. Never stop believing in yourself. And I'm going to catch you on the next video. Peace. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.